And we're live. How's everybody doing? Another random live. Hope everybody's having a good day. Good, I almost said Monday, but it's Tuesday. So I went to, I was doing some shopping today. Shopping. Yeah, that's always fun. Hey, John Sexton, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. How's things? Cindy's out there. Hello, Cindy. What do you do now that there's no more Sarnia sting? And hey, Rob, how you doing, buddy? We got to have a beer soon or something. Say hello to Diane for me. And uh, oh, John Sexton. Love you, buddy. Matt Curry. Got to get out soon, buddy. We've been saying that for too long. Paul Thomas, how you doing? Jeff Hare. Where are you? Dawn's out there. I am doing fantastic, John. Thank you so much. Sometimes I wonder when I will, if I'll ever see you again. I feel like we've broken up. No, I'm just kidding. It's just been a long time, right? I think it's one of the, I guess one of the great things I love about uh, doing these Facebook lives on my personal timeline, you know, outside of the show and whatever. Um, it's kind of a way to hang out and talk with people that I haven't talked with in a while, right? So that's cool. So Jeff's out there, Don's there. Brian, how you doing, Brian? Katie, how you doing, Katie? What's going on in your world, everybody? Rick's out there. Hey. Hey, Rick. I was talking about you the other day. Where was I, Rick? I was at Brownstones. And the guy sitting beside me said, I play poker. And blah, blah, blah. And he was talking odds and luck. And I said, oh, yeah? If you ever see this guy named Rick, just look at him and say, pocket twos. <laughs> I'll have that forever. And uh, Harry Srinivasan. Hi, Harry. And uh, there you go. I'm glad you're doing well, Katie. That's good. Thanks for popping by. How are the plans coming along? That, that special day will be here before you know it. Congratulations. Fergie, what's going on, buddy? Oh, speaking of which, uh, yeah, Doug, is there still open mic going on? should uh, tell me about that. And uh, Julie, hello, Julie. <laughs> you know, I'm just making funny because I like you. Julie, you're awesome. How you been? And Denny, if Danny doesn't show up, um, something's wrong because Danny is he, he could do a show because he's on Facebook more than I am he's always there and you can go see him at Nissan and buy a car I should come see you I need us I need a second car but I'm cheap Danny I'm warning you and Kelly's shoddy he's shoddy <laughs> oh Julie what, what do you do these days anyway Julie you working working hard hardly working yeah Ah, Julie, you're awesome. Ah, there you go. Tina's out there. Oh, boy, Dave, that was at Harry's poker game, by the way. I see. Why. Yeah, that was at Harry's poker game. Like, uh, it's it's over eight years ago. It's over eight years ago, for sure. <laughs> right on, Julie. Well, don't work too hard. Make sure you have some fun, too. You got to get out and have fun, and you got to get out of town and, like, go to Mexico or something. Yes, Alfredo, this is a solo broadcast. I'm not even using BeLive. This is just Facebook native. Sorry about that. I know you love being a guest. Okay, so everybody who's watching right now, do me a favor and click the love button, not the like button. you got to hover over it, wait for it. It pops up and click the love. The love button soon will be. Okay, does anybody know what I was trying to sing there? There you go. Jake Chersky, my good friend, Jake Chersky. Um, yeah, Jake, I gotta, I gotta take a break, man, <laughs> but awesome food. There's the love buttons. Oh, there we go. Let's see the love buttons. Love the love, love the love. <laughs> and Natalie's out there as well. Hi, Natalie. Shoddy, not shady. He's not slim shady. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think maybe you're a little shady. You're a little shady. You're a little shoddy, that's for sure. <laughs> there you go. So as everybody must be enjoying the warm weather. 
It's kind of getting nicer out there, Mother Nature. Thanks for the love there, Jake. The love button. Soon we'll be making another run. Oh, I didn't mean it. There you go. Who's joining? Bonnie. Hello, Bonnie. And Tim Flanagan. To what do we owe the honor all the way from another country? I forget where you're at. Thanks for being here. Dick Felton's out there as well. Hi, Dick. Oh, somebody's laughing. Somebody's laughing. Da -da 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 -da. So i got to see who's uh, who's laughing. Oh, there. The love's better. Give me the love. Give me the love. Roy. Hey, Roy. Schnikes. How you doing? <laughs> wow. Yeah, Bristol, Tennessee is where Tim Flanagan is. We have friends all over. That's cool. Jackie Wellman. How you doing? So I went shopping today because I like Princess Otto. <laughs> and I, I had I had like I don't know, I had about forty five minutes to call so like, well I'll pop in there. Tuesday's usually the day they start their new flyer. So there's usually when some sales are on. And I always go in the section where the cell phone stuff is because I'm always buying like clamps and stuff for uh low places. Friends in low places. Yeah, I got some friends in low places. I'm friends with you, Harry. <laughs> He's laughing. So I went in there and I bought these magnetic things. For your phone because I thought oh that'd be cool I'll put that right in the car there and just mount it and stuff and and then uh, Jennifer won't let me put it in the car but it was only two dollars and 41 cents and because it was such a good deal I thought I don't know where I'm gonna use a second one because I don't even have a second car <laughs> but I thought for two dollars and 41 cents I could buy one and maybe I'll give one away to somebody I don't know ouch <laughs> uh, yeah you know Hey, I love you too, Roy. It's been a long time, man. We gotta, we gotta hook up. I don't know if you ever get out anymore. So I bought those. That was two dollars and forty-one cents. You know what? So two dollars and forty-one cents. And then here's the receipt. So I went into the store. What the heck? Camcorder, camera, tripod. Oh, there it is. Yeah, wait a minute. So I went in there, two dollars and forty-one cents for that, and then I bought an HD antenna, which I haven't got working. Something's not right. Does anybody out there have any HD antennas? And has anybody tried to hook an HD antenna up? Who's cut the cord? Jake says, "I love hearing his spring rolls. Yep, best spring rolls ever." Hey, John Fraser, how you doing? So I bought that. That was $6.99. And then I went and bought. Oh, yeah. So here it was. I feel like price is right. So I bought this HD TV digital antenna. And I'm a pretty tech savvy guy. I plugged it in. I haven't got it working. So I don't know. It was $6.99. So I went and did that. And then my son bought me um, a tripod for Christmas. Great. Awesome. Great thinking. Dad could use a tripod. They were on sale. Good stuff. So I went in, the, in today to Princess Auto, and they had the exact same ones for $10.99. So I only have one. So I thought, well, I could buy one. So I bought three. Because <laughs> in my business, you can never have enough tripods, and you never know when one's going to break. So I bought three. So at the end of the day, I went in there to walk around and just, you know, look around. And I ended up spending $90.14 <laughs> at Prince's Auto. And I was like, holy crap. And my studio's a mess, so I have, I have cleaning to do. And I've got, uh, oh, that's where that is. Oh, there's my mixer. <laughs> so there you go. That's, uh, <laughs> I have a tripod. He, <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy, uh, mini me. That's a tripod. That's funny. If it works, tell me. What do you mean if it works? You mean if the tripod works? It totally works. I already own one. I got one for Christmas. These are the exact same ones. So I bought three of them. There, there's like there's like 20 of them in there, and they're only $10.99. So if you need one, 
and they're like they're they're light, but they're 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 light, but they're not cheap. And they've got a hook down the middle so that if you want to put a weight on it, you can. Uh, it's awesome. And then I got this. Oh, I got a survey. We do our. Can you? I know it's a pain, but we would really like to know how we did today. We do our best to provide the very best royal service. I'd like to show you under doing a five hundred dollar gift, so I can go to. Oh, let's do that. Only received three channels. Really, I would have thought like living on the border here in Sarnia, we would have got more. Right, so because I was down in Amherstburg on the weekend, in a beautiful beach house on uh, Lake Erie, and they had one, and it got all kinds of channels. Jamie Maness, how you doing? And Mr. Grover's out there. Hello, Michelle. Long time no see. Michelle Salisbury's out there. I was going to talk about this. And she's agreed to participate in Sarnia Sings for us this year, Sarnia Sings Volume 3, an initiative created by my friend Adam Dumont. And he's brought me on board uh, to MC again. Three years now we've done this. And Michelle's going to be singing. There's only like... There might be 65 tickets left at the Imperial Theater for May 2nd. Harry, Danny, everybody, go to imperialtheater.net and buy some tickets. It's 25 bucks. A bunch of local people singing on stage to a live band. It's amazing, and it's all supporting mental health and suicide awareness. Um, and it's going to be a killer night. Max Major is going to be singing in it. Marilyn Gladue, our MP, is going to be singing. Michael Van Hevel, the crooner, he's going to be in there. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Hey, handsome. Aw. You're awesome, kiddo. I'm so, so happy that you're a part of this this year. Glad I could make that work. Uh, who else is out there, Michelle? Marnie. Marnie, how you doing? Not working, obviously. And Colleen. Colleen Burke, how are you? My friend Colleen, all the way from British Columbia, joins. That's awesome. Julie Pyatt. Thank you for stopping in. Julie, it was, it was great to see you the other day when I was there for the paint party. You didn't see the result, but I thought I did pretty good, it turned out. And I, I went to look for you and chatted up with you, but you were gone. I guess you had to leave all of a sudden, so... Um, Philly's Gardens. If you're down there, I'm, 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 when I'm done here, I'll come down and see you. If you want to chat for a little bit, I'd love to see you and catch up. Because Julie Pyatt is awesome. Saw your sister uh, the other day, Cheryl. We went out there for uh, dinner. It was great. Go get your tickets. That's right. Chris Isaac needs to go get tickets. Okay, so I was at Princess Auto. Uh, and if you haven't followed the page Sarnia Sings, go to Sarnia Sings on Facebook. Check it out. So I can go online and do this survey. Here, Melissa, well, Princess Auto Sarnia. Which one's awesome, Michelle or Julie? Both of them are awesome. Both of them are awesome. I kind of like them both a lot. So let's call them. You guys want to take a survey with me? <laughs> oh, that David Burroughs. He's just a big teenager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Both. Yes, they are both awesome. Danny, you're pretty awesome too. Okay, so we're going to call Princess Saddle here. One, eight, three, six. I feel like David Letterman. Didn't David Letterman used to do this kind of stuff? Five, three, three. What do you guys think? Like, I do my weekly community show, 3.30 in the afternoon. I got to keep that. What do you guys think if I did a late night show? Do you think a late night show on Facebook, like, like I don't know, like 10 o'clock at night or something, right? Chris Fraser, how are you? I thought you were dead in a freezer somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. I shouldn't say that. I just haven't seen you in such a long time, right? So, hey, Zinky, what's going on, man? Last time I was at Village Gardens, hey, thanks for... Cheers to me. Oh, I want. I was going to ask. So, Jeff, do they still have? Does Village Garden still have open mic on Wednesday nights? I was there last week on Wednesday, 
and Village Gardens is having open mic. My friend Fergie, Doug Ferguson, is running the open mic, and he got some folks to join him. So if you love live music and you want to go have a good time and hang out with some good people, Village Gardens, the place to be. Guess what? Um, you bought a camel and you don't know what to feed it. I don't know. Guess what? <laughs> okay. Like Dave Letterman. Yeah, I could do that. Maybe if I could find a location somewhere where we could go, an undisclosed live location, the guests could come to me there. There you go. Brian Laker's out there too. Hey, Brian. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm going to do this Princess Auto survey. <laughs> it's going to be creative. Oh, wait a minute. Let's try that again, shall we? Powerhouse is getting back together. Me, Jesse, Will, Zach, Amen, but under a different name. Oh, cool. Well, you know who to reach out to, and that's going to happen, and we'll have you on the show. Yeah, late, late show. Why not? I don't know. I, two, three in the morning. Sometimes two, three in the morning. I've already been out, <laughs> and committing to that would be. It's probably better if I if I uh, do it at ten o'clock for like an hour, and then if I want to go out. Because if I go out and then come home and do it, that's that probably would. Well, you know, you're right. Uh, like late night might be, but I'm talking like keep my community show in the afternoon because surprisingly many people do watch. And the reason I go live in the afternoon at 3.30 is because my audience is not just here. I have people in Australia and whatever all over. So I try to find a time zone. And most of the views of people watching the show come after the live's over anyway, right? But... I'm, I'm talking about just a, a completely like late night with David rather than the show with David Burroughs. Just like another show, but at night, kind of in a different format. But I, I, I know what you're saying. I believe me, I went through lots of research and stuff to, okay. Okay, we're going to call. Thanks, though, Danny. I appreciate your input. Maybe it should be the David and Danny show. value your candid feedback and appreciate you taking the time to complete our survey. That's Just awesome. for providing your feedback, you will receive a chance to win a $500 Princess Auto gift card. That's cool. Please enter the store number that is located on your receipt. Please enter the transaction code that is located on your receipt. You tell me about that. I'm sorry, no entry was detected. I will repeat the statement. Please enter the transaction code that is located on your receipt. Okay. Please enter the day you visited us. Please enter the two-digit month, then enter the two-digit day. Then enter the four-digit year. For example, please enter the time of your visit as shown on your receipt. Enter the two-digit hour, then enter the two-digit minute. For example, for 751, you would enter 0751. Are you kidding me? Please enter the total amount spent. For example, if you spent $125.04, then you would enter one two. During your visit, did you return a product? If yes, press one. If no, press two. Did you require assistance from a Princess Auto team member? If yes, press one. During your visit, did you speak with a Princess Auto team member other than the cashier? If yes, press 1. If no, thinking about the Princess Auto Store where you received this invitation, please rate the following. Overall, how satisfied were you with your experience at this Princess Auto Store? Please choose any number from 5 to 1, where 5 is extremely satisfied and 1 is extremely dissatisfied. Based on my experience, I would recommend this Princess Auto Store to a friend, colleague, or family member. Based on my experience, 
I would return to this princess island store. Please rate your level of satisfaction with the following aspects of your experience at this Princess Auto Store and the team members you interacted with. Please choose any number from 5 to 1, where 5 is strongly agree and 1 is strongly disagree. This Princess Auto has a unique selection of products to choose from. I'm sorry, no entry. Princess Auto provides me with good value for my money. This Princess Auto is an easy place to shop. <laughs> the team member or team members provided assistance that met my needs. The team member or team members respected my time. The team member or team members demonstrated knowledge of the merchandise. Almost there. I was satisfied with the appearance and organization of I was satisfied with the availability of the merchandise. My recent visit was inspiring, allowed me to connect with like-minded customers I better win the and interact part. with friendly team members who value Princess Auto understands me and my project needs. The team member processed my purchase efficiently. Did a team member go above and beyond your expectations? I'm sorry. That answer is not valid. I, can't keep I will it. repeat the statement. I can't keep it Did in five. Did a team member go above and beyond your expectations to make your experience great? If yes, press one. Oh, no, we're back no, once. We're glad you had an outstanding experience with us. We would like to recognize our team for their exceptional service. Please take a moment to tell us about how our team made a difference on your visit. Please tell us their names and what they did so that we can celebrate with them. Your thoughts are very important to us, so please include any other feedback you might have okay. and be as detailed as possible. To leave a comment, press 1. To continue, press 2. Begin speaking after the tone and press the pound key when finished. <laughs> Susan is amazing. She's totally freaking awesome, and you should give her a hundred dollar an hour raise. She's just amazing, awesome. It's a true story. Cashiers are always awesome, but Susan, she's the one. We would like your permission to publish your voice comment to the internet. All survey responses remain completely anonymous. If yes, press 1. If yeah, no, do it. Press Would you like to be entered for a chance to win a $500 Princess Auto gift card? All customers that opt into the contest agree to all rules, terms, and conditions. Oh. Are we going to go for the 500? And conditions, please visit do I go for the 500? Do I go for it? If yes, press 1. Do I do it? Yeah, we gotta go. If I win the five hundred bucks, I'll take some shop. Telephone number or cell phone number using your telephone keypad. The number will only be used if you are a sweepstakes winner and or to contact you if you have an issue. Can't let you guys have my phone number. You'd all be calling and texting me. You have entered five one nine <laughs> four nine zero. Your number uh -huh. correctly, press one. If not, please press two and re enter your number. For contest rules and regulations, including eligibility, sweepstakes period, and previous winners, and or a copy of our privacy policy, please press four now. Press three to exit the system. This concludes our survey, powered by In Moment. Thank you so much for taking the time to complete our survey. That was exciting. Whew. I better win $500. That was a long one. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, there you go. If you can't have fun, why are you here? Ryan Wurschler. How are you, buddy? Nice to see you. Got to get together. We had a plan to get together once, and I fell asleep, I think. So let's try again. That's cool. Oh, Julie's out there, too. Hello, Julie. Julie, Julie. All right, what else is going on? 
Hi, David. It's Carol here from Sarnia Steps for Life. Carol and Sensor. Oh, yes, right. Hey, how's it going? What's new? I haven't seen you in a long time. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, that was kind of fun. So if I did this late show thing, what would I? Who? What kind of people would I interview besides Danny Camalingo? Kaka Kaka I ah, uh, I can never say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that happen? Let's see. Open, 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 open. No, I didn't want to do it. Whoa, what happened there? No, that's not what I meant to do. Whew, that was weird. Oh, went all the way, all the wrong way. Oh, there we go. Kosh. <laughs> sea bomber. Cacamilio. There you go. Cacamilio. So the G's silent. I never knew that. Cockamigalilio. <laughs> Cockamilio. There you go. I never knew that. How many times a day do you get asked that question? How do you say your name? How do you spell it? We are way behind on support for the walk on May 4th. Well, give me a shout and we'll get you on the show and talk about it. Send me a send me a private message and I'll uh, I do it remotely like live remotely so you join from your your phone or whatever now but we could we could also make something happen in person yeah I'm sure it happens every day go to that sales guy that that uh, what's his name Milio <laughs> go to that Milio guy hey Milio that's probably do they call you that for short do you get that for short hey Milio there you go Bill Gordon how are you. Cool. Really, we've been live for almost a half an hour already. Danny has nothing better to do but than to watch David Burroughs, which is awesome. <laughs> I just hope I win the five hundred dollars. Hey, Milio, there you go. That's what you wanted to hear. Yeah, no problem. I I welcome that. Yeah, you join remotely from your PC or smartphone now. It's live, so it's a little bit different. But we can we can make something work. So send me send me a PM. Okay. It's certainly nice out. Oh, I should be charging my phone so that when I go, when I go over to Harry's house tonight, because he's going to cook for me. <laughs> How many of you believe that? Oh, and I bought, oh, I didn't, where did I, oh, there they are right there. And something else I bought. This is cool, actually. Urgh, if I can. <clears throat> I bought me some earbuds, some wireless earbuds for $34. So there you go. Oh, you know what would be cool, actually? I wonder if I can do this. Um, hey, Siri, turn off Bluetooth. Okay, I turned off Bluetooth. Now here's, well, that's the other thing. Yesterday, Siri and the other one were fighting. Let's see if I can. Siri and the other one were fighting. So let's see who's right again. Hello, Joanne. How are you, Joanne? Joanne, I'm pretty sure I saw uh, a young lady that looked like your daughter at one of the last Sting games. She was guarding the door. Pretty sure. So Siri... Okay. Alexa, what's the current temperature? Right now, it's 6 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 0 degrees. Okay, 6 degrees. Hey, Siri, what's the current temperature? It's 7 degrees right now. She says it's 7 degrees. I'm going with 7. So I'm going to, I got these, uh, I'm a gadget guy. I'm going to turn that on. And I think I'd go like that. Uh, how's that work? Well, I guess we'll find out. 
Oh. Oh. oh, I'm scrolling away. Whoopsies. So Joanne's out there. Terry's out there. Hey, Terry, what's going on, mister? So now, turn this, get my, put this in there. Power on. Connected. Oh. See, that's weird. I don't know why. Probably because the battery's low. So I wonder if I play a video now. Oh, that's cool. Welcome to the view. It's a little noisy, but can you guys did you guys hear that when I was playing that? Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. And uh No, you didn't. I didn't think you did. Okay. Uh, hey, Kim. How are you, Kim? Well, that's cool. These things work really good for like for the 34 bucks I paid. Like, they really do. They're not AirPods. I, I, I bought them so I could hook up a Bluetooth to my system. So I'm doing the show. I don't have wires hanging out. I just have that thing. But I know I look like a news guy, right? What's that? I'm, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. We're, okay, right. So apparently, John F. Kennedy's been shot. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I am Sarnia's biggest teenager. That's what I was told. Power off. Okay, so that one. I'm gonna charge that sucker up. Oh, the gadgets I have. Oh, the gadgets I have. Can I make this work? There we go. I got my, oh, I don't have my, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Uh, this could be bad. What's that like? That's a Bluetooth speaker, too. So I could actually have that. Oh, that'd be weird. You see it better when it's off. Live your dreams. Kim, I'm doing fabtabulous. How are you? It's been such a long time. But that's what I like about the whole uh, Facebook Live thing. It's like I can hang out with all my friends who show up. Right? There you go. I was just talking about all the crazy money I spent today. Silly. Now Dino's going Dino's to try to sell me a car. Receiver transmit. So if I do that, I think that goes into transmit mode. Let's try that. Aha! Let's try that again. I wonder if that was any better. Kim, what have you been up to? Are you working or what do you, what do, you do anymore? Come on. Is that power off? Well, that's power off. Just got a bit of an accent. Power on. No pair. Ooh. I'm flashing. It's trying. It wants to connect. I don't know how that works. Maybe I have to turn this one on. Oh. Maybe I just have to turn that one off and charge it. 
Now this one. Un. Maybe I have to shut it off. Power room. Power off. Power on. Busy with various fundraising. Oh, we're connected. That's still making that noise. That's weird. Well, Kim, you have to uh, reach out to me when you do these things. Send me Facebook messages or whatever so I can talk about your fundraisers on the show. You know, I love doing that, and I'd, I'd love to do it for you. So I always say, use me, don't abuse me. <laughs> but seriously, send me what's good. What's the next fundraiser you got going on? Anything? It's connected. There you go. My little gadget drawer over here. I'm redoing the studio. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. That's why I've got to, all my stuff out here. Very good. Okay. Inspirational quote of the day. Here we go. This one's good. 1001 Ways to Confidence. This is a great book. I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. Pablo Picasso said that. Right, Milio? <laughs> I'm talking I'm falling apart now. I shut this thing off. Power off. There you go. There's your inspiration for the day. Oh, there's a. Oh my goodness. I've been looking all over for this. So let's put it back where I didn't know where it was, so I can lose it again. All right. I'm not gonna put these in. There we go. All right, so go to imperialtheater.net. Get your tickets for Sarnia Sings. I've been playing with my gadgets. Got lots. Man, I got a lot of stuff. I got to clean up. <laughs> so there you go. Hello, Brandon. Uh, you're just in time. I'm about to end the stream. <laughs> my friend Brandon Scram. The earbuds light up and won't get hit from a car crossing the road at night. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, not much, Brandon. I just went live about 40 minutes ago and just random chat and being silly is, you know, I mean, yeah, perfect timing. Time to say goodbye. Brandon has his own gif. <laughs> like, I have my own coffee mug, but I don't have my own gif. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you what. All right. Good chatting with you, everybody. I do appreciate you all stopping by. Love it when we can get together and chat and hang out, see how everybody's doing. Until next time, be nice to each other. Bye for now. Au revoir.